It's Pete from Cheap Homesteading, and today we're going to be working on the barnyard. Uh, you know, the barnyard's been an ongoing process for a long time, and uh, this summer we put the real push on to try to get it done. Uh, we got the goat barn in. I got a lot of the fence up. I was really pushing, and then fall came with all the garden and everything. It just become very hard to work on the barnyard. Uh, this is the last nice weekend, I think, in the forecast. So I thought today is the day I got to get most of the rest of the fencing done. And then uh, if I can get this done before the snow comes, then uh, I can just tinker around a little bit, try to finish it off, and we can get animals for spring. So I'll show you how much I got done. So most of you guys saw the barnyard before, at least the main part of the structure. Like, I've got most of the fence up. It's just I don't have um, all the rails in it yet. And I put in the gate posts and everything. Now, I have a lot of rock and it's been very hard to put in posts. And we kind of decided to go with A-frame style posts. Uh, so I went with three rails. And because I'm getting goats, those things are hard to keep in, I've heard. So I thought, I'm going to try to merge the two. We're going to put page wire in the rails. And so I folded it up, slid it through here, but then I had to clip four wires at the bottom and I'm gonna to have to rewire them every A-frame. I think this is gonna work really good. I've got it all up in there and uh, stapled and it's fully hooked into the actual building. We are gonna start off by kind of adding some more rails to the rail fence. Uh, that shouldn't take too, too long. And then we're gonna start uh, running page wire and then running page wire around the uh, T posts that I was able to pound in over the hill. Uh, kind of a good thing. I was able to pound in T posts coming over the hill. Uh, there's more dirt there. Uh, so that really should speed up. Once I get these A frame fences up, then uh, we should be able just to run the wire and we should be very close to finishing today, hopefully. Anyway, I always underestimate how much work there is for the amount of time I have, but I do think today we'll get a big chunk of it done. So let's go. The way these A-frame style fences work is you make your A-frame, you wire your uh, post to it, and then you make these braces that wire from the top post to the bottom post, and then you wire your middle post to these, and then everything gets wired together, and they're actually surprisingly strong uh, when they're all wired together. So now we're gonna go from the back of the shed and I fastened this board to the corner and we are gonna string page wire all the way around, all the way up to the front, at least to the A-frame style fencing. Goal was to have a gate right here, but that all takes time. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna run fence. So I fastened a two by four to this uh, corner and I am going to string page wire all the way up to the uh, A-frame style fence. We'll fasten it all down and then the only thing we'll have left is that front corner.
Got that side of the fence up. We're gonna come over here. Got the wire strung all the way around uh, down to my cedar rail fence. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch this side first. So I think I'm going to pull the fence. This is cheap fence. Uh, it's really hard to get a good pull on it because it just kind of crumples no matter how you actually set it up. Um, I'm sure people have better systems than I do, but I'm gonna start tying up the fence and just come this way. So I got this stretch of page wire on. Um, there's a hill right there. So you have a gap under the fence. What do you guys do? Do you try to fill it up with dirt? Or do you just run more page wire underneath it? I might dig out this a little bit to make the fence hang straight. It just seemed to be more uh, reasonable looking if it was like that. So it's looking pretty good. This is a little bit of a wow though. The posts lean in a bit. I'm wondering if there's much post in the ground possibly. That is gonna be my gate at some point. It's funny, I got this pretty stiff, but right where the gate is, it's not really that uh, tight. So, this is definitely looking up. I think before it gets too dark, I'm gonna try to run the page wire in the rail fence and get that just roughly up in place because I think I can get that done before it gets dark. It's about 3.30 now. Uh, so I think it should be doable. Because I only have to do this stretch here and this stretch. I feel like I can do that.
tire is really kinked up, but it does come out pretty decent. I wouldn't say it comes back perfect, but it does look pretty decent. And then I start stapling it the rest of the way. So I just start pulling it, put a staple in, get it tighter, and just kind of work from one end to the other. I've got most of the page wire up. Most of it is wired. There's just a little bit more to go. Um, I'll show you. Last weekend, I got this part of the fence done, tied into the building. Today, I got that fence, which is kind of hard to see, but uh, that fence tied into the building all the way around and out. The only part that I didn't get the page wire up is this section of the fence. I got it all in this one. I still have to uh, do a little more stapling and tying it in, but otherwise it is in. So next time, if the weather holds on, uh, I should be able to do that probably in an hour and a half and then go around finishing up the rest of the things. I'm sure I can get the rest of it done. I don't know if I'm gonna get these holes underneath the fence um, finished. I don't know if I'm gonna get buckets of dirt so what do you guys do with uh, fences that are a little uneven like you're going up on a hill you have gaps do you just try to throw some rocks and fill it up with dirt or do you try to run some page wire down in the hole um, I'm thinking that I might just get a bunch of rocks and a bunch of dirt and try to fill it up a little bit I got uh, a few good holes uh, but most of them are tiny I could just touch them up a little bit so I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do um, but next weekend, if the weather holds out and it's not snowing, I probably be out here trying to just kind of finish as much of this off as I can. So, but that's about enough for today. You guys have a good one.